In this video, I'll be showing you how to compute the probability of an individual being sampled in a scheme of sampling without replacement from a finite population. So let's assume that we have a population with capital N individuals. So let's say um, individual x1, I'm going to call it x1 star just to maintain the same notation that I've used in other videos to denote this is from the population. So x1 star, x2 star, the second individual, up to x capital N star. Okay, so this is the, th these are the elements of uh, the population and I'm going to draw a sample of, uh, let's call it sample A. Um, of size n, little n. And I want to compute the probability that a certain individual, let's say x, y star, is in the sample A. So what's the probability that this individual is sampled? And to do this, I'm actually going to compute 1 minus the probability, because it's going to be easier, 1 minus the probability of x y star not being in the sample not being in a okay and this is one minus so the probability of x y not being in the sample a is the probability that x star y is not sampled in the first row times the probability that is also in not in the second draw xi star is not in the second draw times and so on in the third draw and the fourth draw up to the probability that xi star is not in the last draw okay so hopefully you'll see that this is exactly equivalent to um, computing the probability of not being in the entire sample so now what is the probability of uh, x1 star not being drawn the first time so we have n minus 1 possibilities out of capital N. So this is n minus 1 minus n is the probability that the, this individual is not uh, uh, drawing the first time that I select someone from population. Now, remember that we are, we are in a situation of without replacement. So it seems, it means that after the first row, I have now n minus 1 individuals from the population that I can draw from. So the probability that the x, y uh, star is not in the second draw, I have n minus now two uh, possibilities out of n minus 1 individuals. Um, and in the third draw would be n minus 3 over n minus 2 and so on up until n minus little n divided by n minus little n plus 1. Okay. So we, we can see now that in this product, this term is always going to be to cut with this one, be cancelled with this one, and so on. And the only terms that are going to be left are this uh, numerator big N minus N and the denominator uh, capital N. So this becomes 1 minus N minus little N divided by capital N. And this is N minus N plus little N divided by N and becomes little N divided by capital N. So this is the probability, little n divided by capital N, of an individual 
um, being sampled from a population of size n in a sample of size little n when the scheme is without replacement.